Number 43. A geosynchronous Earth satellite is one that has an orbital period of precisely one day. Such orbits are useful for communication and weather observation because the satellite remains above the same point on Earth, provided it orbits in the equatorial plane in the same direction as Earth's rotation. Calculate the radius of such an orbit based on the data for the moon. All right. So basically, we're trying to right, figure out some um, radius of a certain satellite that has a certain period of one day, and we have to do so by comparing it to the data about the moon, which is actually another satellite that circles the Earth. So we're going to use Kepler's third law over here, this formula, all right, and that relates uh, the periods, okay, to the radii of two different satellites that orbit the same body. So here I can use, uh, you know, sa satellite just for rotating body, okay? So here I can use um, the actual satellite, um, and compare that to the uh, satellite of the moon, which is also rotating the earth, uh, rotating about the earth. So here we go. So let's do uh, T1. Let me do T1 squared over, let me just write out the formula, T2 squared is equal to R1 cubed, okay, divided by R2 cubed. Now one and two you can call, oops, I made a little boo-boo there. Uh, oh no, I didn't, never mind. I thought I... I can't even remember my own handwriting sometimes, so sorry about that, guys. Anyway, um, so I can call 1 and 2 really whatever I want, all right? So um, let's call 1 the satellite, okay? So the period of the satellite squared, then divided by the period of the moon squared should be equal to the radius, all right, of orbit of that satellite cubed divided by the radius of the orbit of the moon cubed. Okay, so what are we looking for here? They asked us to find the radius, right, of the satellite. So this is what I'm after. So let's just do a little uh, algebra first to solve for that. All right, um, we want to get this alone uh, on the right-hand side, so i got to get rid of the, the denominator. Quick, simple step is bring this denominator up into the numerator on the left-hand side, and that's all we got to do. So the radius of the moon's orbit cubed times the period of the satellite squared divided by then the period of the moon's orbit squared will equal the radius of the satellite cubed. And then, right, to just find the, uh, the radius of the satellite's orbit, take the cube root of both sides. All right, so now we get a nice little formula here. So we get the radius of the satellite should equal then the cube root, okay, of the uh, radius of the moon's orbit cubed multiplied by the uh, period of the satellite squared divided by the period of the moon squared. All right, guys, so now all we got to do is just plug it in. And what we have to make sure, we got to make sure we have consistency in the units, right? So let's take a look at the Earth and the moon. And its period is 0 0.07814 years. Okay. So uh, that's important because... Um, you want to make sure that your period time unit, which is in years in the table, is consistent with your period that was given in the problem, but the period that was given was day, right? So I'm going to have to make it consistent. Um, why don't we convert? Why don't we convert this? It doesn't really matter. Um, why don't we convert that day into a uh, year? All right. So let's do that over here on the left hand side. So we got one day, right? Days cancel. I want to go to, um, I can just go right to years, right? So 365, I know it's really 365.25, but I'm just too lazy. All right, so this comes out to be, uh, what am I doing? One day is not 365 years, is it? Maybe, that's news to me. Wrong side. There are 365 days in a year. Boy, I'm getting a little, getting a little tired today, I guess, guys. So hopefully I don't make any other silly mistakes, but... I'm sure you'll let me know if I do, which I appreciate. 2.74, 2.74 times 10 to the, what do we got? Negative three, negative three years. Okay, so that sounds about right. So this is the period um, for the satellite. All right, so let's start plugging some stuff in. So we got the cube root here, the radius of the moon's orbit. And what do we got here? We got it right here, right? 
Uh, remember though, this is in kilometers. I'll probably uh, convert it into meters. So just add three to the exponent up there. So 3.84 times, oops, times 10 to the eighth, okay? Then multiplied by the period of the satellite. Well, we just found that in years. Okay, that's gonna be squared. So don't forget to cube this. Then multiply by 2.74 times, times 10 to the minus three. And that will be squared, all divided by, it almost looks like this uh, square root doesn't, but the square root covers the whole thing, okay? Square root covers the whole thing. Uh, by the um, period of the moon, and the period of the moon in years was 0 0.07418. 0 0.0741, no, excuse me, 81. 481. Okay, and don't forget that is squared, and we're just gonna calculate. So let's just take out the calculator. I'm gonna do the cube root at the end. So 3.84, times 10 to the eighth cubed, raised to the third, times 2.74, uh, times 10 to the negative three, and that's squared, and then divide all that by point, uh, zero, seven, four, eight, one squared. And then what we'll do is we'll take the cube root of that. You, you know, taking the cube root is the same as raising it to the one third power. So either way, and we get a value here of 4. Point, looks like 2.4. 4.24 times 10 to the 3. Oops. 7, right? Times 10 to the 7. Let me just make sure. 5, 6, 7. Yes. Times 10 to the 7. And that was in meters. Okay. All right. So that solves for the radius. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.